Hello, 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 and welcome to this. This is a primer about Peter Hamill. Yes, someone's asked. I've had this asked for. The, someone's been. People have been asking for this, and I've been saying no. I've been trying not to do it because it's such a big thing. Peter Hamill's career is just so big. Not only are you have the Van de Graaff generator years, his solo career is vast and expansive, and I haven't heard. All of his albums, but I shall disclose the ones I've heard and the ones I haven't heard as we go along, allowing you to make whatever um, decisions you want. But before I start, I just want to say thank you to Gary Howe, who is known as Ad Asterisk, and his friend Leon for gifting me this. It's Dave Gilmore, live at the Royal Albert Hall. I actually had tickets for this. But I didn't go because the missus had to go on a business trip and I sold my tickets and I really regret it. So this is a really nice gift. It's my birthday next week, so I'm accepting this as a birthday gift. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you um, to <laughs> to the uh, the other fellow. I'm still receiving Steve Hinnage albums. <laughs> I keep getting one. <laughs> the odd one. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> a big pile of music I've got to listen to. But anyway, back to... The main event, which is going to be talking about Peter Hamill's discography. It's big. That's what she said. We start off back in 1970 with Fool's Mate. I love Fool's Mate. It's a very special album. Um, not only do you see his humorous side with Imperial Zeppelin, there's classic tracks like Candle, Very Deep, Vision, uh, Summer Song and The Birds. I once wrote some poems. Oh, it's it's just a really great album. I like it. Um, stripped back stuff. I mean, you can't. I, I think it's probably the best place to start. Really, start at the beginning with his first album. Uh, this was followed night sent to with comedian in the shadow of the night. Again, it's it's all right. You know, it's okay. Um, uh, easy to slip away is a standout track, obviously, and in the black room. Uh, which is often covered by VDGG themselves. They often used to do that one. And it's good to hear it on this one. It's, again, it's a classic. Again, those first few albums are worth checking out because you get to see Hamill, you know. His solo career at that point is very much, I wouldn't say interchangeable with VDGG, but they kind of run in tandem. You know, there's lots of ideas. Um, this is followed by... Uh, Silent Corner, Empty Stage in 74. Um, it's alright. Um, the last track, Alouse Is Not At Home, is probably the most VDGG thing on it. Again, I think the band used to perform this. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. It's okay. you know. It's just not one that's grabbed me. I like. There are certain ones I like that have got tunes on that I, I like. Uh, 1974, In Camera. I like this one. Uh, Ferret and the Featherbird, No More Submariner, Tapeworm, um, The Comet, The Course of the Tower. It's very gothic. There's a lot of gothic horror on this one. Magog in Bromine Chambers. You know, and um, yeah, if you buy the CD now, you get extra bonus tracks. You get a lovely Emperor in his War Room live version, which is, is quite good. Um, yeah, I, I, quite, I quite like this record. It's a good one. Um, then we have probably a, a, a career highlight for me in Adir's Big Chance, 1975. This is where Hamill takes on the persona of Ricky Nadir and goes punk. I know he loves it. From the opening punky track, uh, the Nadir's Big Chance, uh, Open Your Eyes, The Institute of Mental Health Burning, Nobody's Business, uh, People You're Going To, Birthday Special. Uh, People You Were Going To, um, I didn't have... Um, that was on um, was that on the Aerosol Grey Machine? I know I know VDG G did a version of that. Like I said, I'm gonna I haven't made any notes, so there's gonna be mistakes. So you're gonna correct me. Blah 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 blah. I do know what I'm talking about. Honest, honest, I do. Uh, 1976, we have Over. This is a pretty depressing. This is the breakup album, I believe. Very, it's very hard going, but very good. Um, Crying Wolf, I like that one. Uh, Autumn. Uh, this side of the looking glass. Uh, standout track for me is the last track, Lost and Found, which 
is a continuation of La Rosa. Again, another VDGG track. If you love La, La Rosa, um, I love that song. Um, you find out what happens on Lost and Found, and it's great. It's well worth checking out to find out what happened. Um, 1978, The Future Now. I can't remember who does the, the cover. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to shave half a beard. Yeah. Um, you see him move into a more more modern kind of production. There's more like drum machines and things going on. Um, Energy Vampires uh, is a great track. Uh, Future Now, love that song. Um, yeah, it's not a bad album. You see him moving towards a, a new thing. Again, he's recording at home. There's you know more technology being used. Uh, you have a run of pretty good albums here. PH7 1979 is a good one. Um, my favourite. I've got oh, it's also got Port and Down. Probably my one of my favourite Pete Hamill tracks. I just love that. Absolutely bonkers with some squealy saxophone uh, from uh, David Jackson. Uh, quite a, quite a good album that one. Um, and then we have another strong album with a black box. Um, it's an album of two sides, obviously. First side, you've got Golden Promises. These these are really strong songs. Golden Promises, Losing Faith in Words, Jungle King, Fog Walking, The Spirit, which I absolutely love. Um, Slow Time's all right. The Wipe. Mm. And on the B side is Flight, which is, I think it's a 20-minute epic about plane falling out of the sky or something. Black Box. That's why it's called a Black Box. Plane crashes. Ooh, scary stuff. And... 1981, we have Sitting Targets. I quite like this one. Breakthrough science fiction. Ooh. My experience is um, Hamill going kind of pop. Uh, Sitting Targets, I love that song too. And of course, the the sublime Stranger Still. Oh, I could let, listen to him doing that one over and over again. Um, do, 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 1982, and a K. Uh, Paradox Drive's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. You seem to think things are kind of you know. It's not as strong as the last album. This is the problem. I have albums of his that I like, and albums that I tend to just kind of push back. And I go back to go. Oh, it's not too bad. So Enter K is one of those records. Um, then we have nineteen eighty three Patience, um, Train Time. Is all right, I suppose. Uh, Patient, which is all about being ill and waiting in the waiting in the in the um, the waiting room for the doctor uh, again I don't really the album really didn't didn't work for me it's not as strong as the other ones um, uh, what do we have then uh, compilation that's the love songs no skip back 986 skin under the skin I quite like that one um, shell yeah, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, again, it's it's all right. It's, again, it's it's Hamill going modern. You know, he's trying to have a bit more of a, you know, a, a pop vibe. Uh, you hit me where where I live is quite a good fun track, as well. Um, and then as close as this, and close as this. Sorry, I've got this on one on LP. I remember picking it up for for near enough nothing. It's an experimental album. I know he said he played it on the keyboard in one pass and so over it. It's uh, it's all right, you know. Again, you get these experimental albums. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, in a foreign town. You've got sci fi notes on that. Time to burn. Again, I'm not a big fan of it. It's a bit. It's a bit dull. Uh, again, feel free to disagree with me. Um, then we got Out of Water. Out of Water, that was 1989. I'm reading this from Pete Hamill's discography on his website, by the way. Um, again, it's, it, it, it wasn't one that had a had a had an effect on me, I'm afraid, so... But what we do get is 1991 fire ships. Up there, up there, you can't see it. But if you look behind me, if you go back to my old videos, you'll see there's a print of the album there, which is signed by Peter Hamill. 
Um, yeah. Let me. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll insert a picture. I'll do a little. What's it? But yeah, that's the Fire Ships album cover, and it's signed by Peter Hamill. Two uh, Peter Hamill, two two nine of a thousand prints. I got that when I saw Hamill live in the late nineties. I've seen him about three times now. Great stuff. I really like Fire Ships. Um, I will find you. Curtains. Oasis, which I think is fantastic. Uh, and then Gaia, which is all about the interconnectedness of things. Yeah, I really like it. It's one of his last adventurous albums where he's using texture. And he doesn't tend to build, uh, use a lot of texture, and now it turns out to be playing boring kind of guitar, and the arrangements are just little, more sparse here. It's kind of his last real attempt at doing anything interesting. Uh, 1992, The Noise. I think it's a reissue. I think it was released earlier than that. A kick to kill the kiss is good fun. Uh, the noise is all right. Planet Coventry. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, so it's all right. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, what's next? Nineteen ninety four. Roaring forties. In fact, I think this might have been his last real production. Because uh, you've got Sharply Unkill here, uh, Talking Turkey, Gift of Fire, Headlong Stre Stretch, sorry, which is a, a, an extended piece, a very proggy kind of stretched out piece, and Your Tall Ship. It's kind of the last gasp, you know, really, before it starts getting a bit um, derivative. Uh, Cross My Heart, that begins with. Um, a Better Time, which is a track I absolutely love. Um, I think he opened opened one of his gigs with that. The last time I saw him, when he played solo. That was really good. Um, it's alright. <laughs> you get a bit bored of me going, it's alright. Uh, Everyone You Hold. I've not heard that one. It slipped me by. So I can't give a comment on that. Uh, this. Oh, God, it's been a long time since so I've listened to it. Uh, looking at the tracks, I have absolutely no memory. I've got it, but I have no memory of it. So it must have just passed me, passed over me like that. Uh, do, 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 typical. Oh, no, that's a live album. Don't want that. Ooh. Do you want to know about live albums? Oh, no. Uh, none of the, but the above. That was from 2000. God, blimey. Uh, again, all these albums, they are they are much of a muchness. I know it sounds a terrible thing to say. It's, you know, these, are, these are all like kind of brooding pieces. All the arrangements are kind of stripped back with them either at the piano or the keyboard. You know, and he kind of stuck in that furrow. Uh, what now... Oh, again, that's one slipped me by. I haven't heard that one. Uh, same goes with Clutch. What was I doing? I must have been asleep. Uh, uh, incoherence. Oh, God. Uh, I've got that one, haven't I? Let me just double check. Incoherence. No, I haven't. Nope, not heard that one. I thought I had. No. Uh, Singularity. Yeah, I know I've heard that one. Um, yeah, it's all right. But I thought that Thin Air from 2009 was a bit better. Just a little bit better. But again, as you go through his career, you know, I prefer the earlier stuff. As it goes on, it's, yeah, it's all a bit, bit, bit dull, really. And the same goes with consequences none of these songs jump out at me even though I've heard the, I've heard the album a couple of times it's just da, 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 da. it's just it's the, this is what you come for isn't it this is this this is what you want um and then we've got the the latest album which is uh what's it called other world I mean you've also got my god loops and reels which again is another kind of experimental album the fall of the house of Usher which exists in two versions. He re-recorded it. I heard it in 1990, but 
again, it was. I remember being it was being quite fun, but other than that, uh, uh, spur of the moment that was done with Guy Evans. Uh, Sonics is again another experimental album. The appointed album, uh, appointed hour, sorry, from nineteen ninety nine. That's with um, Roger Eno. That's where they record separate things at the same time and try and get them to meld together. Yeah, it's experimental. What are you gonna expect? Unsung. Fuck, have I heard that one? My goodness, I don't think I have. Who did Unsung? No, I haven't heard that one, so I can't. I can't comment on that. Another World, um, I bought that one, Peter Hamill, Gary Lucas, that was released um, the other week. Um, I keep meaning to sit down and listen to it, because I've got it on vinyl, and I wanna, I'm want i waiting for the right moment to sit down and bathe in it, but I will be doing a prog review on that once I get around to, to doing everything. Um, right, is there anything I've missed? No. I think that's just about it, really. So... To sum up, what 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 do you need to buy? Fools, mate. I think you should get Fools, mate. I think you should get Nadir's Big Chance. So I really like that one. A black box, definitely a black box. Um, then we will move on to the next phase. Fire ships. Yeah. And maybe you could get. Let me see, maybe there's a good one. And maybe get the Margin Live from the K Group. Yeah, and there's a live album in there. Yeah, there, I'll throw in a live album as well for you uh, to get in there. So there's five albums there, well worth checking out. It's a big catalogue. Um, I like his quirkier stuff. That's why I tend to like the, the, the front end of the career. The, the more modern stuff, like I said, it's all a bit ballady and it's all a bit stripped back and guitar. You know, it's like, oh, Peter, 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 please do something a bit more interesting. But I'm sure some of you out there love everything. You know, I'm a bit more a bit more picky and a bit more honest about it. So anyway, but I, I would still happily go and see him live. I mean, he's actually playing live on my birthday, but he's at the um, Union Chapel, and it's not a particularly favourite venue of mine. Um, I don't like to have to fight for seats, you see. Um, I like to I like reserve seating and uh, a comfortable chairs, so uh, a bit of a snob when it comes to to uh, gig gigs, so uh, I shan't be going to that one. The same way as I'll be missing the Penguin Cafe this week because they're playing the Union Chapel too. Why does everyone have to play the Union Chapel? Why can't they play somewhere on the South Bank uh, where it only takes me an hour or so to get home rather than a lot longer? Uh, but I, now I'm just whinging. I'm just whinging. Anyway, this has been my primer about Peter Hamill. My next primer will be about the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. Oh yeah, because they've got a new album out. So uh, that should be fun. Hopefully this has been useful. Though I'm sorry that I've been a bit vague. I'm sorry if I've missed stuff out because Peter Hamill's discography on his website is a bit all over the place. I want to use Wikipedia, but the website was playing up. Um, and I haven't made any notes. You know, it's better let's do it on the fly. Let's be relaxed, you know. Uh, hopefully that will get you in. If you like VDGG, you, you'll definitely like Hamill's solo career, though you'll probably like his earlier stuff more than his later stuff. That's not to say you won't like his later stuff. Um, of course, he also sings um, sings backing vocals on two Peter Gable albums, Peter Gable 4, Shot the Monkey, and Peter Gable Us. He sings on Digging in the Dirt, two of my favourite tracks. So there you go. Um, and that's that. That's all I know about him. Oh, also, he's, he's born on the 5th of November and shares the missus's birthday. There you go. How cool is that? Um, I don't know anything more than that. Uh, and that's it. My name's been Darren Locke. Hopefully you've enjoyed this primer. Please remember to thumbs up, share it. Do what you've got to do. There's the social media. You can sit on my Facebook, tick on my Twitter, and do what you want with me, Google+. Plus. You know you know the score. Um, but most of all, the most important thing is, prog on.